Here's what I love about being a professor that's open online and telling, telling you the truth of how things actually work from the inside. That you know what, people just don't care about you and that you have to just simply be on your own and stand on your to at own two feet. Everybody gets upset with that. Nobody likes to hear what I have to say and that's quite all right because all of those emotions, I get these negative comments every once in a while of somebody being upset with the fact that I'm telling them, wait a minute, you know what? You know, maybe an executive doctorate, many of those are, are giant wastes of money. Um, maybe that doing a PhD in certain schools is a waste of money because when you get out, it ain't gonna pay off because you didn't do your homework at the get-go. When I say these things, when I tell you the truth that, hey, all of this, everything is a pecking order and the world does not care. They will not care about you and you have to stand on your two, own two feet. When I tell you the truth of it, when you look at how things actually work, you get upset with me because I am the, the, the bearer of bad news. I'm telling you, telling you the reality of how things actually work. Listen, all of these experiences that I'm telling you is based on me feeling so bad about how many people around me have turned out, including myself. What has happened to me and versus many different scenarios is me telling the truth of my life, that you're upset and all of a sudden, you blame me for something that you don't like, some situation. Maybe it is telling you the truth that, hey, maybe the PhD program that you went to, or maybe the school that you went to is not gonna pan out, or maybe it's gonna be hard to get a job at the end of it. Guess what? It's all hard to get the, a job at the end of it. Whatever the truth is, you don't like it. And then you end up projecting all of your hate and all of that kind of stuff onto the person that's just telling you the straight out truth and you say that I'm pretentious or <laughs> you say that that um, I don't know what I'm talking about or all academics are all the same, all that same crap. It's all the same stuff. I'm telling you the truth. Once you go through with this, it's going to be hard. If you try to become a professor in any area or a researcher in any area, it's gonna be hard. If you try to build any innovation endeavor or entrepreneurial endeavor, it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna work out most of the times. And when I tell you this, when I tell you the truth, then nobody cares. They don't, they do not care. They will not stand up. I'm telling you the truth of what I'm experiencing, you get upset with me. And that's okay, because you're just upset. If you took the time to listen to what I'm saying and walk through this, then perhaps you will, you will understand where I'm coming from. None of this. Why do you think I call this the Reciprocity Project? It's me trying to give back because I've seen so many people hurt in the career. Why do you think I'm building a platform? I've spent like $100,000 on this stupid platform and yet nobody is using it. Nobody's logging on to this thing. Why do you think I'm doing this? Because I want to or I'm somehow benefiting. You know, like the stupidest, stupidest excuses that you're coming from. I'm just telling you the truth. The end of it Nobody cares. And you know, it's the same as me. Nobody cares. I spent a great deal of money and I put in a great deal of effort into this project. But you know what? Nobody cares. So what do I have to do with it? I have to change it around. I have to realize that the fact that nobody cares and then I have to work on that. So how do I work on that? I talk about things that people actually care about. I, I, um, you know, I am changing the platform so that actually people might care about that. And it takes a long time. All of this takes a long time. 
right? So this is the thing where I'm coming from. I'm telling you the truth. What you have to do is realize that nobody cares. And what you need to do is look at the market and figure out that everybody is self-centered. And once you figure that out, then you play to what is going on in their own self-centered interests. It has nothing to do with the fact of being, you know, somehow I'm some evil person or something like that. No, I realize that everybody is self-centered and this was a hard thing for me to realize. The reciprocity project, think about it. That means I'm basically being altruistic by starting this and doing this. And I realized that about two years, three years into it, that guess what? Nobody cares. They don't. They will not do anything. They are just very self-centered. And then it took me a while to figure this out. I was like, oh crap, people are self-centered and crap. They're not gonna stand up on their own and contribute and help and do all those kind of things. Oh crap, this sucks. And then what I'm doing now, if you realized, is I gotta meet people where they are. I gotta say, hey, you know what? They're self-centered. I gotta change this all around and figure this out and meet them to where they are so that it plays into their self-centeredness. Now, the same goes for you. I truly do not care <laughs> the fact that, that you're upset with me in any sort of way, but it does hurt. It pains me a little bit, right? But I don't care at the end of the day. You have to figure out what I'm actually trying to say and what I'm trying to do so that you can turn this around and change your life around. That's it. That's what it's coming from. Once you figure out everybody else is self-centered and they don't care then you can position yourself relative to that and change who you are you can figure out that hey nobody's coming to the rescue why don't i step up and actually do something that's what it's all about you realize that hey everybody is self-centered i have to position myself relative to everybody else so that I can figure this out. And once you change it around, when you turn it around, you realize it's up to me. It's not up to anybody else. That's when things change in your life. That's when you start taking charge. That's when you actually say, hey, you know what? All of this crap that is going on, perhaps it's actually my fault and the reason why it's going on. Perhaps I made poor decisions or perhaps I need to suck it up and get going and turn this around. That's it. That's it. It's me coming to terms with all of this stuff and realizing, wait a minute, <laughs> I need to step up and I need to turn this around. And the same goes for you. Once you figure this out, when you, once you realize that nobody's coming to the rescue, nobody cares, they're self-interested, they're just gonna do their own little thing. And once you turn it around and you start saying, hey, maybe I'm the one that needs to change. Maybe I need to be the one that steps up and figures out what everybody else is talking about. That's when things change in your life. So good luck. It ain't gonna be a fun journey and it's hard, but good luck to you.